All right, back once again. Um, got another unboxing for you. Uh, if you like unboxing vids, this is going to be kind of an interesting one. So today we're going to be looking at a high performance racing track. It's actually a uh, low center of gravity crawler, I believe. Um, this this vehicle comes from Taiwan, a new company uh, called TWS, and they've made one chassis. I think it's called CTS. And the one we're going to look at unbox the kit today is uh, a variant of it that's actually much wider and I think has bigger, bigger wheels and stuff on it. Um, so this is from Taiwan, TWS. Company started in 2021. So right in the middle of COVID, they started a new RC car company. Um, not a, pe a lot of people have seen these. I got mine sent uh, directly from, from Taiwan over here to China. And it was actually a birthday present um, from my girlfriend. So thank you very much for that, uh, Lydia. And today we're going to unbox it. I, I'm, I'm excited about it because I think it's actually quite a capable platform. I am very pleased with, with my, my two trucks I got from MST, which is also a Taiwan company. So Taiwan has some interesting smaller RC car companies. And today we're going to look at and unbox the TWS THR. It says right on the box, high performance racing truck. And it kind of looks like a race truck and I'm gonna build it like a race truck. So stick around, we'll unbox this, take a look at what comes inside. Um, in particular, I wanna take a look at the documentation because I believe this is their first kit, so will I be able to build it? Probably. Should you build it? Not sure yet. You'll have to wait for the next video probably to find that out when it's done. All right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the outside of the box. Unfortunately, mine came a bit damaged. Um, it was really well packaged. This just really got, really got tossed, but it's not an RTR, so nothing's broken inside, I don't think. Um, Instead of it in the box, you have to paint it. It also says it comes with a light kit and aluminum shocks, which is really, really cool. And it says it has a special gift, and it's a TWS neck strap, um, which I don't use, but cool. Thanks for that. Um, so we can see the website right in the front, www.tws-rc.com. So if you want to go check them out, I'll have the link in the description where you can look at this vehicle. And it says fun together and some other stuff. It says, this is not a toy. So, great. Actually, I think it is a toy. Um, on this side of the box, we see that we get some upgrades, I do believe they are. Um, they mentioned this is built on the CTS chassis. It says, notice, outdoor use only. Um, I guess I can't run it in the house. Um, so we have metal transmission gears, um, metal transfer gears, metal axle bevel gears, um, we have these 3.85 by 1.4 size tires, so they're quite big tires. Um, we have stainless rock sliders that come, so these things that go on the edge, that's pretty cool. Um, stainless link set, full ball bearings, and uh, a special steering system. It says AMS steering system, so I'm actually not sure what they mean by that, but axle mounted steering. AMS, so I don't know if that's special. And then the other side of the box, it just says builder's kit and fun together and the same thing upside down and all the other side builder's kit. So there's not much on the box. So let's set it down and we'll see what's inside. I'm really excited. As I said, this was a birthday present. So um, it's one I didn't have to buy. I know I posted a picture in my post there a few weeks ago about all the kits and stuff I have to build. Um, they're still here. They're just not built. So we've got a bit distracted with the, uh, the Easy RC and now this builder's kit. So let's open up the box. And the first thing I see is a bunch of sheets of printer paper. So this is not a book. These are sheets of paper. Um, so information about the truck 
and how to assemble it. So this is the builder's guide, I guess. So how to assemble it, how to fill oil in shocks. So if you buy this, how to put the chassis together. If you buy this, you are definitely not getting a Tamiya kit. Um, instruction manual. Uh, we don't even get a manual. So I'm going to go, I want to say right off the bat that probably you need to be a, a little bit of a skilled builder uh, before you take this project on. It looks like there's not a lot of steps or some things are already pre-assembled because I see nothing for like how do you build a gearbox? How do you build the, the axles? I don't see any of that on these paper, so it's not really included. So a few sheets of paper. Now it is a new company, so those things happen. You, you don't have the greatest documentation. Uh, next thing I see, tire foams. And they're kind of nice because they're notched out, so that should give good traction. Whoa. So they're quite big. Whoa. <laughs> Ah, so they're quite big as you can see, so the tires are going to be quite large on this one tenth scale uh, truck. So we'll set those out. I keep dropping them. Next we have a bag of plastic and these are links and ball joints. I actually have a bunch of link joints, ball links uh, in metal. I might use those when I build it. So we'll just open this bag. Drop everything on the floor. So those are the plastic ball links. We got a bunch of those. Uh, H bag has some um, something. Don't know what that is. Here we have a bunch of like the four bar link link ends stuff on trees. Here we have some body mounts and. Here it looks like we have some suspension mounts. So the bags are all lettered. Those are bags B, H, E, F, G. Put those back in. So it's actually well organized. Might open one of these up and we'll take a look at the plastics. Let's open this one up. We'll take a look at the plastic. See what these plastics are like. All right. So I'll try to get the camera to focus. I don't know what you can see on the camera, but they look to be quite nice, well formed, good molds on these plastics, and just the texture of them. It doesn't feel like you know breaky. Um, don't want to bend ABS. It feels like they have must have some nylon in them. It's not carbon fiber, but there's some give. I think this is a suspension mount. So there are some, there's some give in them and they're labeled. So like this part is labeled, you can see that in there. It's labeled A up top. So there's some labeling and stuff on them. Um, I'm wondering if there's more documentation below. Maybe there's a manual for the standard CTS and those piece of paper were just for, um, this version, this variant. So the plastics do look quite high quality and they look well, well machined. So that's good or well molded. So we'll take, set that out. Here we have another bag of plastics, also well labeled, letter bags. Let's see. Looks like parts to build shocks, shock caps. We have a plastic center plate in there. Uh, more mounts to mount the suspension mounts. Looks like maybe a tray. Shock bodies, more shock parts. Now, it did say on the front of the box, it did have a picture of aluminum shocks. I thought those were upgrades that came with it. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe those are things I can buy. Um, this is quite a heavy bag. I guess this is a main, some main chassis sections. We'll open that one up.
If you look inside, we'll pull out one of these trees. So this, these are, I believe this has a metal chassis. I haven't seen any metal yet. But these are like the bumper mounts that would, the bumper mounts that would go inside a metal chassis. And these feel stronger. These have no, all, well they have a little bit of flex, but almost no flex on them. These feel like maybe they do have fiber or carbon or fiberglass or something in the plastic. These are a stiffer piece than the last one I checked, but very high quality. I must say TWS is some very high quality plastics here. That's important. We don't want things bending on our, I think it's an LCG crawler. All their vehicles are crawlers. And they call this a high performance race truck. Um, oh, here we go. So, no instructions how to build axles, because here we have the axles. So I'm gonna pull out one. I'll pull out, well, we might pull out both. Let's pull the axles out. Pull out the front one. Let's see what we get inside. So, Definitely metal gears inside. We have the hexes installed. So they've built the axles for us. These are the fronts. So we have the steering, ball bearings installed. This is that stronger, maybe fiber, fiber infused plastic again. Um, you can see that you can feel it in the texture. It looks very nice. It says right on the front, it says, uh, it says TWS. Quite the angle on those. If you can see that, very nice, some beef to those. And the other one, the rear axles, and the rear axle, it's open, is the same, but of course we have different end pieces, so no steering. But I guess it'd be pretty easy to do four wheel steering. You just have to get the, the cups. They would actually match up. All right, nice. So I notice on these axles, here's your center links and there's your shock towers. Center link goes in there. I think that's how it works. And there's the, the other part of the four bar link. So before four bar link front and back, set those down. Oh, here's my lanyard. So they gave me that good stuff. Got another bag of plastics, bumpers. These are the bumpers for the vehicle. Nice. Now we have the body. So here's their body. Um, I'll put a picture up here of the, the completed uh, kit. They have pictures in red and green. Um, looks pretty cool. Um, nice Lexan, not too thick, a little bit thin. A little bit thin. Um, so you cut a lot of this away and you also cut out holes for the shock towers. So this body sits so low on the truck that the shock towers poke out the, 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 the hood or the bonnet and out of the rear piece. So I don't know your feeling on that. I think if you look at the picture here, I think it looks really, really uh, mean. It looks really sick. And the cutout, the front, the front, um, Wheel wells are cut around the front here. So all this plastic disappears. So it's a very thin body. It's only about, about a centimeter thick above the wheel well. I think it actually looks like quite a mean truck and it looks like it's setting really low. So I think it could actually be a solid axle race truck. So we're gonna be putting a pretty fast motor in this. I'll show you that in a bit. Here at the very bottom, we have our wheels, um, tires are mounted, so fair size to those. They look nice, smell bad, but look nice. So they are just glued on plastic rims, that's fine. No foams put in yet, I'll put those in. It says, I think that is just scale. It says 38 by 
Um, or one S one nine LT. I'm not sure what that means. This is Mud Train TWS branding, so it's their own tires, and the compound feels pretty sticky, pretty soft. So I think with a really fast motor, you're gonna balloon these for sure. Now we're getting down at the bottom. Here is our gearbox. We'll open that up too. The gearbox is complete. When I build this, I'm gonna take it apart and check, see how much grease and stuff's in it. I can see the uh, spur gear in the back and there's no grease on that. Um, so I want to check that, make sure there's grease up front here. So that is our transmission. Ah, the chassis rails are actually plastic. They are not metal. I thought these would be metal. Every crawler can I get, they have metal rails. I don't think that's going to affect my uh, truck or my build, but they're plastic. Just so you know, if you buy a TWS, you're going to get plastic rails. I wonder why they do that, because the metal ones aren't really expensive. Um, we'll see when it's together. We'll see how tough that feels. And here we have some, some grease, some oil in this bag. Um, here we have some metal parts. So our metal links, some screws. Here we have a pinion gear, some more screws, some rubber. Uh, washers, I think they're for the shocks. Here we have, this is kind of cool about this kit. So they put in a plastic, um, a plastic frame, frame rails. So these are lots of screws and stuff in here. But what's cool are these. These are the metal sliders. So that'll help protect the, um, the bottom of the truck since you actually have some nice stainless steel to glide across the rocks. So that's something I think a lot of companies should include. Um, ah, the light kit. So the light kit is from GRC. I've, I have their lights. I've used the lights I actually have in my BBX are from a GRC kit. So they're light kits from GRC. So we got our light kit included. Here we go. Here is our metal shock bodies. So we do get the aluminum shocks and the springs. Nice stuff. And here is the transfer case already built. So not a bad kit actually. Um, I was thinking if you're a first time builder, it might be kind of hard to build, but since they built kind of the tricky parts like transfer case and transmission, etc., it's not too bad. Now we're down at the bottom of the box. We have some stickers, some window masks, some TWS stickers. I'll stick those someplace. And, aha, we have the CTS user manual. So I guess that's what they're doing. They printed those paper, we, we, piece of paper we saw at the beginning just to show the differences in this variant. So I'm gonna flip through this. And they actually have the assembly instructions for their for their transfer case here, for their axles. Not too bad. Not too shabby. So it looks like the original kit doesn't come with metal links. It comes with plastic links for the four link. Um, so definitely this is an upgrade. So as far as price goes, I think I think it cost maybe $300, $350. So it's uh, a little bit expensive. Um, if you're in the market for a new new kit and you're gonna go with a brand that has only been around for like a couple of years, um, it's a little expensive, but so far the quality looks very, very nice. And this manual is actually not bad. Not bad at all. It reminds me of kind of, of the uh, Team Associated manuals. Um, to be honest, is the vibe I'm getting. So pretty good. Nice stuff. Nice manual. So it's actually quite a heavy manual. So that's impressive. So I want to give a call out to, to TWS. If you actually watched my video, which would be cool, 
like and subscribe if you if you do TWS crew um, it is a quite a good manual for a uh, for basically a first edition kit because all you have are RTRs on your on your website so this is for the standard CTS chassis and mine of course has these little bit differences and that's what these papers were for Man, when I opened this, I was a little bit worried that that was my whole documentation. Could I build it? Yeah, because even if that was all I had, it's better than what I have with my X-Rider bike. So I'm just going to put that inside. But that's it for the unboxing. That's all our stuff. Um, so stick around the channel. Um, I want to build this truck and I got some electronics to put in it. So I'll show you what I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in this Easy Run Max 10 and a 4,100 kV motor. So if you're watching my squash van, my second or third video I made of the squash van, I put a brushless system in and uh, just about destroyed my truck. That's the system. So I'm gonna put that in my, um, in my crawler. Now, it may seem really fast. It is a fast, fast motor, but it all depends on the gearing ratios because I know I have this in a TRX4 and it's not too fast. And it actually crawls well, so we'll see how that works. And for the servo, I have for the servo, I have a Savix. So we're going back to the premium, and this is a uh, 1258 TG. Okay, so we're gonna put that in. It's quite quick, noisy, and quick, but I really like um, the Savix servos. So I have a lot of cars here with Savix. I have a lot with. Um, Futaba and a lot recently with OMG. I also have Deco servos. I have quite a few, quite a variety. Never go wrong with the Savix. I find they're the, the best, but you can buy two or three OMG servos for the price of one of these. So that's the electronics we're gonna put in. So I'll get, get to work. I'll get this built. We'll bring it back on the channel. We'll test it out. I think it's gonna be quite quick um, with that setup on 2S. I'm really excited to build this. One, it's it's a brand new company. It's a new uh, experience I haven't had before. And two, it was a gift. So I'm really excited. And I like that I get to paint the body because I like painting. So look forward to an interesting paint job on my uh, TWS, what was it called? THR. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, like, share, share my videos, subscribe. We are getting close to a thousand uh, subscribers. So I know it doesn't seem like a lot in the land of YouTube, but I'm really pleased with that. So thanks to everyone who's already subscribed. Um, as always, you can always buy me a coffee. I love coffee. So you can always buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. Link is in the description. Um, I think I have about eight more videos to film. So in the coming months, there should be more more uploads because I got a lot of work set in here. Um, I got to take the Gorgon out and uh, ramp that. I got a few ramps for that. So I got a few things to do. I got a, a, a Beetle here to show you. I got to do the unboxing on and put, put the motor and electronics in it. So I got a few, few more things. Oh, there's a Hyper Go over there. So there's more coming on the channel. Um, I just got a stack of RC projects. The Grand Hauler Truck Project, got a bunch of upgrades, um, I'm going to build the gearbox with, with brass gears and a whole lot of things, so look for that video if you're interested in my, my, my Tamiya tractor truck build. Um, so all the parts are there for that, I'm going to build a custom and customized uh, transmission uh, with a reduction gear, but just haven't gotten around to it. So until then, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and uh, you guys have a good day.